Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Every single one. You're probably thinking, that's a lot of masks, Floyd, and you're right. I was not thinking when I made that promise. But here we are, so let's do it. Kids mask today, kids surgical mask, got the machine set up to do the surgical test, looking at the, what is the brand name? Cover You, ah, 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 Medtex. And I hate this mask, I'll tell you why <laughs> in a second. All right, let's open this up. Cover You, I know this brand. We've tested something from them before. Germany, it's a German brand. Oh, we did the adult mask. A company called Medtex that we found. It's got a big American flag on it. it, says made in the USA, but we're not really sure that it is. So let's get this thing testing and then we will jump in. Okay, they're using the Taiwanese style of mask here. Talk about that in a second. Let's get this in the, in the uh, clamper. I mean, Germans, you know, you've heard the phrase German engineering, like uh, Germans, they, they, they make stuff. They make stuff well. And the last mask did 97%, the adult mask. So I'll tell you why I don't like this mask. It's just a personal thing in just a second. But I want to get this thing going while I'm yapping here because uh, the test takes time. Let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that link. We're doing the ASTM latex test here. German company, you say? German? German. Luxus Liebenschfeld GmbH. This is what they, it's like they're incorporated. Um, most of my family is originally from Germany, so maybe biased there. Um, my last name means crossbow, which is aggressive. Why don't I like this? Okay, well, let's, let's talk. Um, so they were claiming to be an ASTM uh, one mask. Good thing this machine does that. That's a standard of 95% filtration, which they're putting right there. But right on the box, they're saying, and in the picture, with the kitty, oh, I think it's probably a Hello Kitty rip off. <laughs> Hello Kitty people, look out. Um, BFE, 99%. I've literally never seen. This 99 is as big as my face. Not that big, but it's real big. Um, and the problem I have with that is BFE, it's misleading. BFE is something that matters uh, really not for something like COVID. Bacteria filtration, bacteria is huge in comparison to COVID. The thing you care about is PFE, and it's almost like they're like BFE, and then they're like PFE 95. But you know, I'm really, you know, I'm making a big deal out of maybe nothing. I just don't like when people are marketing incorrectly. I also don't like this box. I don't like when the box has like this fabric on the inside. Um, the breathability is insane, 43, and they're claiming a delta P of four, which is roughly the same. So they're, they're meeting that standard there. Um, I, I will say one thing real quick about the, they're doing um, this, what I call the Taiwanese style, where they fold over the, uh, uh, the end, and that's, that's an extra step, but they're doing it wrong, because you can see that the nose, the ear loop is on the outside, See, but it can just come right off when it's on the outside. The cool thing about this Taiwanese design, which I really like, but it's a lot slower to make, is that you put the ear loops underneath it. And then what happens is this polypropylene folds over and they're super strong. They're like unbreakable. But this one, they put the ear loops on the outside, so they're making it wrong. Maybe that's how they make it in Germany. We'll never know. I do like their logo and the fact that they put it on the mask though. So there's that. So let's see. Ah, see? They're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, Germany. Come on, guys. The motherland. The hinterland. I guess we, right? I don't know. Never been there. I've been there. All right. Let's put it on. Oh, wow. That's so funny. Uh, that's funny. Wow. Okay. So this smells, this smells like, like my, I'm going to call this smell my uncle's old cabin. It's like a little bit musty. Um, but 100% of the smell is coming from that cardboard. So it's very uncommon in the US to sell uh, a product box that has the normal unfinished uh, cardboard in it. Like if you look at most product boxes in the US, they've got this white, bleached white finish. It's just a nicer finish. You do see that a lot in Mexico and I guess in Germany. Um, 
I don't know. It's, it's cheaper, but like not much cheaper. Um, so which is why you don't see as much. That's where the smell is coming from. So I don't love that, but it's not super overpowering. Again, nitpicking. Now a kid is gonna like pull on the edges of this, right? They're gonna do that because they don't wanna be wearing a mask, right? So I'm afraid that they're gonna do that, right? Because the way that they did the, this particular style, it's like, it's, it's like easy to kind of, see what I mean? So that's, that's not ideal. Um, I also just, you know, they're, it's, they're just really cheaping out on their spun bond. So I don't know, it's just, it's not a well put together mask. So does that matter, right? Does it matter? Does it matter if it, if it actually protects you? So let's see if this correlates today. I may have cheated a little bit. I glanced. I'm going to be honest with you. You're not going to get my reaction, my, my real reaction. 82%. Interesting, because we tested their adult mask, and it was 97%. They're claiming ASTM level 1, which would be a 95%. Now, I like when people are look, going for ASTM level 2 or 3. If you do ASTM level 3, what you're saying is this is the best mask. Does it matter if it's ASTM 3? No, I mean, 95 98%, basically the same thing. But I like to see the, the ASTM level 3 because that means you really are caring about this. So, oh my gosh, just playing with the mask, the nose wire came out. This is a garbage mask. I don't like it. <sighs> Brothers and sisters in Germany, you have failed me this last time. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> My last name is German. That's all I know about Germany. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this particular adventure. I know that I have BFE 99%. Come on, more like 82%. I'm not gonna ask you for a like and subscribe. I wouldn't do that because I know that we have a very personal relationship and that just, that cheapens it. I don't wanna cheapen our relationship, but I will ask you for, is for you to take a chance to win some cool things. I'm gonna put a video up there uh, explaining it. If you comment on this video within the first 24 hours of it being posted, you're gonna get something cool. All right, check it out. And the next test, we're posting every day at 10 a.m. and I will see you on that next test.